Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you are feeling extremely stressed and overwhelmed or feeling like um, you can't cope or that um, sort of the world is not on your side? Often we go through life with these um, thoughts and feelings that are related to um, core beliefs, cognitive structures that we created um, unconsciously in childhood growing up to cope with the world. Everyone has core beliefs. Everyone has um, things that they think whenever things get heated and stressed. Often those core beliefs bubble up whenever we are feeling overwhelmed, when we're angry, when we're upset, um, when we're sad. I'm Allie Coker. I'm a therapist working with healers and helpers, people who are, uh, um, are care caretaking professionals. Core beliefs are really important to understand when it comes to, un to um, learning about yourself and how your thoughts are affecting your feelings and, and behaviors. For instance, say you have a conflict with your boss and you go into work and you kind of have this idea. We've always had this conflict. My, she, my boss is always going to um, uh, put me down and, and not appreciate what I bring to the table. And, um, and that my core belief in all of that is that no one appreciates me. So if the core belief is no one appreciates me, then the orientation or the way you present yourself in the world is that you expect people not to appreciate you. So your energy, your outward appearance, whether you know it or not, is, um, is projecting that understanding that your needs won't be met, that people won't understand you, that people won't appreciate what you bring to the table. A way to work with your core beliefs is to understand that they're there, is to really start to um, move into um, a, a curious p position or a posture of curiosity in your relationships with people. So for instance, in the um, job situation, it's to go into work on that day that maybe you have a meeting with this boss and understand that your heart is beating fast, your palms are sweaty, and you're noticing your stress level has increased. This, that you're feeling tension in your chest and you're relating that to, oh gosh, I'm stressed, I'm overwhelmed, and um, I don't like this, and sort of those kind of thoughts and feelings of and sensations are um, affecting you. So the posture of curiosity would say, okay, I my body is reacting to this core belief that um, my boss is not appreciative of me or um, I, I'm not going to be appreciated by people. So how can I change that? I can, um, first of all, start relaxing my body and telling my body that this thought is not something to react um, uh, and react with anxiety and stress. So I take deep breaths, do my deep breathing, my deep diaphragmatic breathing. I do a, um, a quiet meditation. I uh, take a, a short walk outside. I um, play some calming music. I tell my body that this is not um, this is not a, a major threat. Next, we also look at um, how that core belief is, re is is creating feelings in ourselves. So, if if your core belief is that other people are not appreciative of you, does that make you feel sad? Does that make you feel angry? Does that make you feel disappointed? Or does that make you feel um, to feelings of um, um, frustration arise. Finally, we look at your core belief and we challenge it and we say, if uh, people, not all people uh, don't appreciate me, what if there is an opportunity here in this meeting today that my core belief can be challenged? 
your boss uh, doesn't have the power in this situation. That if they don't appreciate you or if they come across as in a, unappreciative, that is, um, that is their that is them. I trust myself that I'm doing the best that I can. I produce um, good work. I am strong and capable. I am able to um, show others that I am worthy and I am um, able to uh, uh, do uh, great work. There are lots of other uh, core beliefs that could be negative. Um, like I can't do anything right. I'm not lovable. I can't trust people. The world is dangerous or unsafe. The world is unfair. My needs won't ever be met. Do any of those ring true for you or are kind of stuck inside your head sometimes when you're when you're dealing with relationships? I know um, all of us have negative core beliefs that bubble up from time to time. It's really just the awareness that they are there and that we um, can trust ourselves to combat them with positive um, intention and some, um, some real um, curiosity and leaning towards the ability to change them. They're not there forever. We can change our core beliefs. We are um, people who are able to be, start being um, agents of change in our lives. So take a look at how your core beliefs are bubbling up and how they affect you and your heart and your feelings and your sensations and um, and realize that they don't have power over you and you are the agent of change in your life. I hope this was helpful. If you find um, it helpful, give it a like or subscribe. Check out my other um, videos down below and um, and share if you feel like this could be helpful for other people, other folks. Um, take care.